everyone today we will be doing a stable multi vibrator using timer ic 555 in the previous video we used a ic741 which is an op amp to construct a stable multi vibrator the aim of the experiment is simply to design and construct an stable multi vibrator using timer ic triple file and to measure the frequency and duty cycle of the output signal using CRO here we will be using DSO and also we will generate two types of waves rectangular wave and uh, square wave using timer IC triple five next we will pass on to the circuit diagram of uh, the generate uh, circuit diagram to generate rectangular wave using IC triple five. IC triple five timer is an essential part of electronic projects, whether it is a simple circuit or a complex system. It provides time delays as an oscillator and as a flip flop element. After the introduction in 1971 in the market. Triple five continues to be popular due to its low price and stability in use. Before going to the circuit diagram, let's have a quick look at the pin out, pin out diagram of a triple five. It has an eight pin configuration. Pin one is grounded to have ground reference voltage, and pin two is used as a trigger and can be driven to one point seven volt below external power supply and pin 3 used as output and pin 4 used to reset timing and pin 5 provides control access to internal voltage divider and 6 provides timing interval when timing interval ends when voltage at 6 is greater than that at 5 it provides a threshold voltage and here coming to pin 7 it provides capacitor discharge between intervals then pin 8 is used for a uh, to provide plus vcc this is a circuit diagram of a rectangular wave generator then coming starting from a pin 1 it is grounded as you can see and pin 2 and 6 are interconnected and it is connected to the from there the connection is given to junction between the capacitor C and the resistance designated as RB. We will come to the discussion of RA and RB uh, in the section design. Then pin 5 is connected to capacitor C1 other end of which is grounded and here also other end of the second pin of a capacitor C is a grounded then output is taken from pin 3 and a ground and pin 4 and 8 are interconnected and it is given to other end of RA from there it is connected to plus VCC the external supply we use here is a 5 volt now let's design the circuit from the theory charging period of capacitor Tc is equal to 0 0.693 into Ra plus Rb into C. And the discharging period of capacitor Td is given by 0 0.693 Rb C. The period of output wave is T is equal to Tc plus Td. Substituting the, the uh, expression, we have 0 0.693 into Ra plus 2RBC. And now, let us, while designing the circuit, let us assume RA as 1K ohm, C as 0 0.1 microfarad, and we take C1 as equal to 0 0.01 microfarad. And from T, we have frequency F is equal to 1 by T is equal to 1 by 0 0.693 RA plus 2RB into C. From this, RA plus 2RB is equal to 1 by 0.693 FC substituting we get RB is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 0.693 FC 
minus Ra. So this is the expression to find out the value of a Rb. So for different values of f, we can find the value that has to be taken for Rb using this equation. Thus we can design uh, the circuit for different values of a frequency such as 1k, 2k, 1k hertz, 2k hertz, 3k hertz, etc. And for 1k hertz, we get the value for Rb as 6.7 to approximately 6.8k ohm. If 6.8k uh, is not available, you can take the nearest uh, standard uh, resistance. And for 2k, it is calculated to be 2.7 and it goes like that. Now, let's have a look at the output wave formation. The output terminal 3 is internally connected to the output of a RS flip-flop. That is the inverted output of a RS flip-flop Q bar. And this input of this RS flip-flop is from two comparators that's output of these two comparators are fed to this uh, fed to r and s and here when the supply is on and it reaches one third of vcc the capacitor c starts charging during this time of charging input of flip flop is r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 and output uh, q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 since q bar is connected to output the uh, and the output of a triple 5 is at a 1 so during charging time this output is when the voltage reaches 2 third vcc that is the threshold value of the capacitor then it starts discharging then the output of a comparator changes so that r becomes 0 s becomes 1 q is 1 and q bar is 0 then output of a triple 5 becomes 0 that it goes to low level so these two form a uh, wave that is a rectangular wave thus the cycle repeats to form a continuous rectangular wave from the design of the circuit we have seen that uh, the time period of a on state tc depends on ra plus rb while td depends on rb only idana ic triple fiber idoru 8 pin ic aanu idoru monolithic timing circuit aanu ini namakku idu vechittu a stable multi vibrator inde connections onnu cheyya with the IC 555 in the stable multi vibrator, you see IC 555 in the circuit connection. Up in the Malta 8 pinula or IC honor IC 555. Up in the one ground lake in the Mulu connection with the tender. The Ivella Varubio Chitter Ivella Varubio Chitter one connection Ini, five will in the the 5 will nana, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, 5 will nana, we have a capacitor to the jumping wire to the ground. We have a ground to the ground. Now, 2 to 6 is connected to the two to 6. This is 2, 2 to 6. We yellow wire, yellow jumping wire to the 2 to 6 is connected to the 2 to 6 is connected to the a two will no six will no or capacitor ground delay ki kurti tender. Ini ada bola tene two will no six delay ki conductive is ortuna RB RB and the varay another six will no seven load. A RB boya a or a bagatun number in the yana capacitor RB one point five number in the other tender the six will no seven load to conductive the tender. Ini astral resistor number in the other tender. 1.5 kilo ohm nammal endu cheyidittunde 6 il ninnu 7 ilekku connection koduthittunde adu pole thane ra 12 kilo ohm 7 il ninnu 8 ilotte 
इन नाम ए फोर कूड़ी ग्रे कल उपयोग ए फोरू कूड़ी एंटेंट इंटर कणक्टेट अवड़े नाम प्लस वि सीसी इन नाम प्लस वि सीसी ग्रौंड नाम प्लस वि सीसी ग्रौंड नाम प्लस फाइव वोल्ट बैटरी प्लस वि सीसी प्लस फाइव वोल्ट माइनस वि सीसी माइनस फाइव वोल्ट कणक्टेटी नौटपुट डिटेट आर ए First one records the observed and the calculated frequency. For that we have to have a uh, we have to record R A in the first column, R B in the second column, C in the third column. R A throughout the experiment is the same. R B changes with the change in assumed frequency. C also remains the same throughout the experiment. And frequency observed frequency is obtained from a Uh, the DSO or a CRO and the calculated frequency is uh, done using the formula F is equal to one by point six nine three into R A plus two B two R B into C. Next tabulation is to record duty cycle. Uh, the tabular column, uh, the first column of the tabulation records frequency. For example, if we start with the one kilohertz, write one kilohertz here. Then T C corresponding to that, write it here. Then third column records T D corresponding to one k. Then T C plus T D is a total time period. Then last two column record duty cycle D. Then experimentally we have T C and some total of T C and T D T. Then dividing T C by T is the duty cycle. That is the actually it is the percentage of a wave during which it remains in on state uh, is a duty cycle actually. So D is equal to T C by T experimentally. Then theoretically from theory we have T C and T dividing T C by T. We get R A D is equal to R A plus R B by R A plus two R B. That is T C is a point six nine three into R A plus R B into C. Then T is a point six nine three into R A plus two R B into C. So cancelling the similar terms, we get D is equal to R A plus R B by R A plus two R B. Thus theoretical theoretical and experimental value can be recorded in last two. One thing you have to be careful is that uh, the T C and T D 
that we obtain here is in millisecond. Uh, so if you write second as a unit, you may write it as 10 raised to minus 3 also in the column or otherwise you can write millisecond itself. Thus the result is an stable multivibrator is constructed using IC555 and it's observed and calculated frequencies of a rectangular wave are compared. We will come up with a, a stable multivibrator as square wave generator using IC555 in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the experiment. Thank you.